Good morning. I, Snarker Charlie Callahan, am about to embark on a historic journey. Probably one that'll take my sanity, but who knows. You know, it's not every day that I put something out onto the Twitter sphere and get a response from someone far higher caliber than I basically throwing down the gauntlet. Well, I'm here to tell you, challenge accepted. So, allow me to catch you up on what happened. YouTuber and theme park costume connoisseur, Disney Dan, for the 50th anniversary, rode the People Mover 50 times, and most recently, decided to spend the entire day in the Land Pavilion at Epcot, taking in all its offerings, living with the land, Soren whatever else the land pavilion has now. I did not really spend that much time in there last time I went. Sorry. I, I only wrote living with the land because that, you know, honestly, but yes, that is the best attraction there. I'm, I'm, I, I am not apologizing. And so that inspired little old me to have a wonderful idea. What if I rode the studio tour at Universal Studios Hollywood for 12 hours? If you've seen my supercharged video, you know why this is a problem. Now, I wasn't expecting to get any kind of response from this. I have this many people following me. Th that's it. And then Disney Dan responded saying, do it. So I have to now, right? I mean, I can't back down from a challenge like this. Then again, it's not like I did something else at Universal Studios that gained me notoriety somehow. Yeah, there's a sequel coming, don't worry. But yes, the challenge is incredibly simple. Only doing the studio tour throughout the entire day of operation. And with the studio tour closing about an hour and 45 minutes before park close, that gives me roughly 12 hours. To give you some kind of perspective of how this is turning out, this is me before. Round one. Here we go. And this is me after. I don't know what the result is. I'm filming this the day before. Now, I'm not going for any kind of record. This isn't about writing it as many times as humanly possible within the span of 12 hours. It is about this being the only thing I do in the span of 12 hours. As many times as humanly possible. Now, the only possible way that I could go for a record is if I had access to an unlimited express pass, which I do not. Technically. Because you see, I work at Universal Studios Hollywood. For multiple reasons, surprise if you didn't know. So I'm already getting admission into the park for free. That is one of the baseline perks of working there. However, on incredibly rare, and I do mean rare occasions, we can schmooze a couple of coworkers for some express passes via recovery print on demand passes. I will be foregoing this privilege. I will be waiting in the line like all the regular people, because let's be honest, it's been a while since I've done that, so it's kind of a novelty for me at this point. I am sounding so privileged, it's, it's oozing out, I do apologize. But theoretically, it's not gonna be that many rides on the studio tour anyway. Because the thing lasts around 45 minutes to an hour, we're talking 
roughly around 12, right? If it weren't for the fact that Earthquake were under refurbishment until next spring. That's spring of 2024. If you're watching this then, then, you know, enjoy it, future people. Not to mention, of course, at the end of every single ride, what I'm saying is I might go insane. Highly unlikely, but in the event I do, just remember, this is all Disney Dan's fault. Should I stop posting anything? Avenge me by going after the man who laughs. But I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, let's get to the park. <laughs> Help me. Yep, as you can see, Earthquake is closed. Last tour, 8.15. Park hours are 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. This is, this, this was entirely my choosing, but I'm still blaming Disney Dan. Right, honey? Oh, I'm blaming you. All right. So this is actually a first for me. I've never been here early enough to be literally on the front lines of the rope drop. Like, this is impressive. great. We are moving! And yeah, Animal Actors is totally gone at this point. All that remains is the Castle Theater. For now. Ugh. Whatever. Which I've already given my theory on that, so... Hey, you know. See, while everybody's going to the lower lot, we're going over here. <laughs> we are rope dropping this thing. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna stop us either. No one. Nobody. Ah. By the way, Haley is also here. See, the other benefit to the studio tour, snack stand and restrooms. I don't need to leave. Round one. Here we go. Good, Jane, go get me pretty glasses, so be good. Hey, if you want to wear them now, you go ahead and do that, that's fine. You see, I get paid when they wear them or not, so it doesn't matter to me. I mean, do, so there you go. I just saw that we're gonna be on an electric tram right now. So, uh, no engine noise, which is good. Uh, let's see. Oh, anybody celebrating something fun today? Anybody get a birthday? Anybody get a birthday? It's so cool. You don't want to know. We just have one. You don't want to oh, know. He's just happy to not be in school. But what even is the studio tour? In 1915, Carl Limley opened Universal Studios. Shortly after, he invited the general public in to see how movies were made for the fee of 25 cents. And because they were silent movies, they can cheer the hero, boo the villain, and eat a bunch of fried chicken along the way. Because he didn't really have faith that the movie industry would last as long as it has. He thought it was a fad, so he had a backup plan. Of course, that service would be discontinued until 1964 with the introduction of the Glamour Trams, designed by Disney legend Harper Goff, because of course they were. Technically, there were also Greyhound bus tours the couple years prior, but who's keeping track? I just knew all of that information off the top of my head. I didn't need to look it up. The computer's off. Look, I... There... Protected the witness and you can resume breathing. You know it's crazy out there. 
That is stupidly loud. Today. Oh, God. All right, round one, done. We have 11 hours left. We got this. We got this. <laughs> All right, round two, and I'm now joined by Gabby. Hi. Recent California convert. And whose amazing channel you can find linked in the description below. I wasn't expecting to do supercharged because they bypassed it at first. Because uh, Jupiter's claim is closed. No! <laughs> yeah, so. Then what is the point of doing this stunt? But we are going right. But we are going behind Earthquake, which is something the tram rarely does anymore. We're going down Denver Street. Hey, let me show you those sets, how they look like way back in the day. But uh, sanity check, I'm doing fine. So far. Because I have a new enemy. His name is Disney Daniel. And he will suffer. <laughs> you just got me a water when you can. Well, so what it is, you put egg on, on the cheese. You put cheese on the eggs, on the cheese. It's fine. Whoa, I'm gonna see something right now. No, no, it's not a you lie. Controversial opinion because they're playing this like little clip show of like music in the Universal movies. I legitimately think, and I do believe this, I legitimately believe that they should remake Breakfast Club. I'm not a Breakfast Club fan. I'm a dirty younger millennial and never really had the heart to heart with that, you know? I never had that connection. So, I mean, if they remade it, I'm pretty sure it would be just as obnoxious. Make sure everybody has your. You know, like when you watch American Ninja Warrior and they say, we're filming in the streets of LA. They're filming in the streets of our back lot right out of here. I uh, mentioned that we worked with some awesome directors. One of my favorites, Peter Jackson, who directed King Kong. They do it at like Kong, three in the morning. Even came out here to make a little something special just for you guys. It's crazy. You just survived King Kong 363D. I think the dinosaur squirted on me. Go ahead, me. take off your 3D glasses. Do hold on to them, though. You're gonna be close to be here. On your screen, you're seeing a yogurt shop that makes several appearances throughout the series. You can see on camera how big this looks, but it's kind of an optical illusion. They strategically went in and added the, the tables, chairs, umbrellas, and the flowers on the side of the building are totally fake. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Hi, Bruce. Hi, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Maybe he won't see us. I mean, there's only like 160 of us staring right at him with their phones and cameras out. But as long as nobody waves, I think we're in the clear. You guys stop waving. Hello. We're not doing He's definitely gonna see. Hey, Norman. Um, we we didn't see anything. So if you want, you can just. Okay, Norman. He's kind of like. He's kind of like. We're gonna get going. And, no. Norman, what are you doing, buddy? Where are you going, Norman? I don't like the way you're looking at the tram. Norman, now. Cell phones. No. One phone. Are you ready for a Pepper's Ghost booty party? I'm the one holding the gun. Never mind the whole lot bigger than yours. This is our turn. You guys are so awesome, the team have something they wanted to say to you. Supercharged is like the Olive Garden of theme park rides. Because when you're here, your family. I've already heard that joke on the tour. Are we having a Tramtastic day so far? Round three, here we come. Let's go. <laughs> we got Charlton Heston. For the opening of the parting of the Red Sea. All right, we did car three last time. You wanna go to the back this time? Yeah. Let's go to the back. 
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah. We do have some safety rules for our trip. If at any time during the tour you need immediate assistance, you have a medical God, emergency. You know, it's a good thing we're not doing earthquake today because this would be bad. The tram, yeah. Or if you're experiencing sound Ow. issues. Ow. Round three. Um, starting to get a little sleepy. The studio tour might become the snoozio tour. Sweet cheeks. One, there's a high value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. And two, an international crime syndicate led by Owen Shaw is owning in on this vehicle. To take that witness out. Shaw's is ruthless as they come. He'll stop nothing to eliminate his target. Everyone who's sold on this vehicle is serious danger. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. No, they're still going. They say the good of the family is stronger than it is. All right, ride number four. How are we feeling? Well, I've just had a pretzel, and now we have some semblance of a line. First line movement of the day. Hooray. At 11 in the morning. 11.30 in the morning. 11.30 in the morning. So Finally I'm in the shade. Yeah, we're almost at our noon time. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to talk about you know, like a little bit of a thought that I've been having. That's way too close on me. Based on the construction that's going on outside with Animal Actors, the special effects show, and the rumored roller coaster that's going there. Supposedly, and this is what I've heard from co-workers, so grain of salt, whatever, who cares? Rumors! All rumors. Um, apparently it's not even going to be Fast and Furious themed anymore. Interesting. Yeah. What's the prevailing theory? I don't know. <laughs> Some of them have said Velocicoaster, and that's just wrong. That's not the right level of this park for that. It's not even any, well, it's close enough, but it's like, you'd have like two different entrances for two different rides on two different levels. So that's, doesn't make any any sense to me. Uh, yeah. So, now, I'm then, one, a, more of a fan of the Fast and Furious theory. Because that means we close Supercharge faster. Exactly. But if they do, what would go there? Well, it's not like they don't have another 3D attraction that they could just put over there and maybe spruce up a little bit with an animatronic. Bring back Monkey. I'm just saying, like, if Supercharge goes, definitely plus up 360 3D with the animatronic that Florida got. Honestly, that's a better finale for the studio tour than Supercharged because it incorporates, it incorporates like something that the studio tour used to be known for, but like in a more modern way. Would you agree? Yes, but what would go where Kong is now? I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, we're in line for round five. It is a half hour wait, which hey, at this point, the less we do the studio tour, the better. But the cool thing about being in the queue is being able to see all the cool stuff. I've got a strange new hunger. Literally only me in this entire group knows what I'm talking about when I say that. I relate to this so hard right now. Seven, here we go. That was the park obsession. No, I'm not trying to make friends. I have friends. I'm friends. Is it happening? Is it happening? Are we in line for it? Are we in line? It's the magical moment that I've been waiting for? Is it? <laughs> Flying out for the edge ah! <laughs> I have been waiting all day to see that. And it finally happened. Congratulations. Congrats. We finally witnessed uh, flying out. Finally Hitchcock. witnessed one of my dumb memes. Flying out. Flying out for the Ah! Two things, sweet cheeks. One, there's a high value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. Yeah, we're kind of nearing the end of our ropes here. <laughs> Me more so than them, but. We got this. It's still a lot. It's been a thing. It is a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> it's very much a lot. It's yep. a front and back lot, too. TikTok's of it. What is wrong with you? 
Oh, you guys are sick. Okay. That is the end of our tour. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a round of applause. Keep it going for our driver, Kevin, for taking us on with the back lot today. You spoil me. You spoil me. Come on. Two flying Alfred Hitchcocks in one day? You spoil me. Someone's tired. They're just so comfy. Now that rain on your left is used using a sprinkler system that faces up so that it looks Coyote, like the rain is falling directly there. from the sky onto the ground. You might Coyote. also notice it looks a bit thicker than regular rain. And that's because Whoa. rain doesn't usually show up on the camera. So you have to add a little extra so you can see anything. Okay. Day to revolution, we, we will, will nip, nip it, it in, in the, the bud. bud. I the will join these little schoolboys. They will wet themselves, themselves with mud. What's wrong? Catch them as they fall. Never they know your love with the paper. Here are the little dip. There are the little dip. Most of them are gonna say they won't miss much. One day. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. I'm a musical theater nerd. Let's, let's take it all I in. I also knew all the words. BT dubs. I'm just tired, so I'm not on key. No, I no. I, I have I don't have the mental capacity for that right now. We had a real good time together. But now the ride is done. We saw some crazy cool stuff. And we had a lot of fun. This tram has made its final stop. But don't be sad and blue. Cause there's still one more thing that I'd like to say to you. Right, die! Not without a headache. Okay, I don't hate you, Dan. <laughs> I kind of, I, I get it now. I get it. It's like you understand it. I understand. <laughs> I, I'm like Zuko, like, <laughs> I'm like Zuko, dragons? like, with the fire, with the, in the fire of the dragons, like, I understand. <laughs> Have a tram tastic day. Have a tram tastic night. Watch your step as you exit the tram, and everything will be all right. Come on. Thank you all so much for watching this absolutely insanely unhinged experiment of mine. Aside from new follower Disney Dan, the ones responsible for this are my amazing Patreon supporters whose names you are seeing scroll by on screen literally i would not be able to keep a roof over my head if it weren't for these folks 
However, if you'd like to take it up a notch and contribute $10 or more per month, you join the Cool Cats Club. And you would be joining the illustrious ranks of Bennett Ballard, Danielle Garcia, Gabby Tyrell, Jerry Callahan, Lisa Sturgis, Molly Piper, Nicholas DePorto, Pander Plays, Tendo the Seal, Tony Goldmark, and Trevor Gumble. Of course, subscribing, liking, and commenting is much appreciated as well. And now back to the regularly scheduled waiting for other videos to come out. So, as always, Black Lives Matter, trans rights are human rights, stop AAPI hate, stay safe, stay healthy, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and Disney Dan, if you have made it this far into the video, I suggest a chilling challenge to ride the Magic Kingdom Railroad from open to close. <laughs> Bonus nachos, kids. <laughs>